Okay, today we're going to take a look at the different steps that you're going to need to take to make your course available to students and making sure that all of the material is published so that they can see it. So the first thing that you want to do is, and I'm in a sample course here that we've created uh, to illustrate some of these points, over here on the right hand side you'll notice that the course status is unpublished and you can see the red button right here. Now in order for students to be able to see this course the first thing that I need to do is to make sure that I click on this publish button here and once the course has published you'll see now the red unpublish has disappeared and the published button has turned green. Uh, so that indicates to me that the course has been published. Now, assuming that the semester has started, this should mean that students would have access to your course. Now, let's assume I want to make this course available before the semester starts. So, as an example, if the semester started on August 6th, uh, the default that is likely built into Banner is that it's available at 9 a.m. on August 6th. Say I want the students to have this course available one week in advance so that way they can actually go in and re review any of the materials that I want them to look at prior to the beginning of the course. So the next thing that I've got to do once I've published my course is I need to come over here and click on this settings option. Now once I click on this settings option it brings up my settings page and it's a course details here and you can scroll down and you'll see that the start and end date are items that were brought over by Banner and you can see that it's starting on August 6th. That means that even though I've made my course public that the students won't be able to see this until August 6th. Now I can change that by going into the start menu here and I can go and make it available exactly one week prior to the beginning of the semester and so now it's available on July 30th at 9 a.m. and then I can scroll down and I need to make sure that I remember to scroll down and click on the update course details because if I don't do that it won't save the availability of this course so as you can see up here it says the course was successfully updated and it's now available on July 30th so that way the students have access to my course materials at least a week before the semester starts because I've both published the course and because I have made the course available or I've changed the start date to be a week ahead of the course. Now one of the common issues that students will sometimes face is that even though the course has been published and the start date has been changed to allow them access into the course, they'll go into the course and certain parts of the course won't be available to them. In some cases they won't see the item at all in other cases it's just they'll see the item there but when they click on it it'll say that the content is not available. One of the most common mistakes that we see is that faculty members who have created their content forget to publish their content and there's several different ways in which you can do that so if you are creating a page and here's a demo page that I've created here many of us because it's in blue here will hit save and it just simply saves the page for us. So if I click on save here it saves this but now this is still not available to students and you can see up here this page has not been published. Now if I want to publish this page and the students won't be able to see it until it's published. If I have already saved it I can actually just click on publish right here and you can see the button turns green for me and I do have the option of scrolling over and unpublishing it again if I want to make changes but right now it's published. The other option that I have available to me is when I'm actually editing the page itself instead of just hitting this blue saved button I can hit the gray save and publish button that's right next to it. So if I were to click on that one you'll see that now when it actually saves it has also been published as well so you can see the green publish button up here and when I'm in my course and looking around I can see that the items have been published so if I'm in a modules view course or a course that has been constructed using the modules option you can see all of the items here that have all of these green arrows over here by them 
that indicate that both the module and all of the items inside of the module have been published. If I'm missing an item, so if there's an item that, like here's a page right here, that I forgot to publish at some point, instead of going in and editing it and publishing it the way that I just showed you, if you're looking at it in the modules view, you can actually just high, move your mouse over it, click on the green, or click on the gray uh, do not sign that you see there, and it'll turn into a green arrow. And you can see that now that item is published. Another common oversight that faculty make are they will have all of the items inside of a module published. So as you can see here in this session 2A module, I have all of these items have all been published. However, I've overlooked publishing the module itself. So if a student were to go into this course right now, even though I've published all of this content, the student wouldn't be able to see any of this content because the module hasn't been published. So one of the things we always want to double check is to make sure that all of our modules have been published as we're going through. So you can see here's another one I've missed right here. So I can click on that. And once I see green arrows, I know that all of these items have been published. So I don't have to worry about them anymore. Now if you have a pages view of your course, when you go to the pages option over here in the left hand menu and then click on the blue button that says view all pages you'll be able to see all of the pages in your course and this is a good way of going in and checking to see if the pages have been uh, published so as you can see here some of the pages uh, that have, are in this course have been published others haven't been you know, so i can see for example the week one content has been published the week two content Folks are still working on it as we're going through here. So you can get a good sense as to how much of the course is published. And as an instructor or as a course coordinator, you have the ability to go in and to make sure each of these items are published so that the students can see them in a timely fashion. So those are the different things that you want to check to make sure that your content within each of your courses as well as the courses themselves have been published so that you can make them available for your students to be able to see them.